The most popular destination for extended visits from Kuching is the area around Batangai National Park. Longhouses are the traditional dwellings of many indigenous groups, shared by several families and can be very atmospheric places to stay for the adventurous or for those simply curious about the ways of the local tribespeople. Everyday jobs like threshing and drying peppercorns are done on the veranda. Behind this is a long room where families eat, dance, talk and play music. At the back of the long room are the individual rooms of each family. Here, life revolves around the river, and the journey along the river alone can be very rewarding. Covering an area of 25 square kilometres and dominated by a large lake, Batangai National Park is an important wildlife sanctuary. This longhouse hotel at Batangai offers a luxurious alternative or follow-up to the simplicity of the longhouses and can be a relaxing break between tours. The hotel offers its own programme of walks and trips to explore the local wildlife. North of Kuching along the coast, Miri is a thriving commercial hub as well as being a gateway to the national parks of the northern region and the Barrio Highlands. In 1910, Miri attracted attention when this oil rig, known as the Grand Old Lady, started work. Since then, more than 600 wells have been drilled in the Miri region, both onshore and offshore. No longer at work, the Grand Old Lady is now the central feature of a new museum, detailing the history of Miri's oil industry. And with excellent views over the city, it is well worth a visit. Some of Miri's earliest inhabitants were pioneering Chinese merchants, and despite historic links with all producing Western businesses, Miru retains a strong Chinese character. During a visit to Miri, you'll soon discover that it is particularly popular with shoppers. So if you're seeking an hour or two of retail therapy, the shopping centres here are hard to beat for choice, quality and price, whether you're looking for designer labels or local handicrafts. <music> Bustling street markets promise visitors a wide choice of local produce and a lively atmosphere. Don't be afraid to sample some of the freshly cooked food that is popular with the locals, or to engage in conversation with traders, many of whom speak English, and we'll be able to help you with your purchases. As elsewhere on Sarawak, eating out is a popular pastime in Murray, so there's plenty of choice for bars and restaurants. Miri's accommodation ranges from international hotels with business facilities to moderately priced homestays and hostels. Miri is an excellent place to take a break and plan your tours of the national parks of northern Sarawak and the Barrio Highlands. And with its new marina and the promise of excellent diving, Miri is fast becoming a tourist destination in its own right. With full city status planned for 2005, 
Miri has plenty to offer. If diving is your passion, then you will not be disappointed by the spectacular coral reefs and diverse underwater life that can be found in the region of the South China Sea, off Sarawak. The region along Sarawak's coastline is part of an ecosystem boasting more than 3,000 species of fish and a rich concentration of invertebrate species. Southeast Asia is already well known amongst leisure divers for its excellent quality of diving, but other areas cannot match the pristine condition of the recently discovered undisturbed reefs off Miri's coastline. Mm. 